Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is Louisa and Marabos came from large families and want to have a large family of their own. However, Mara has a rare genetic condition called congenital hypertrichosis, a disease he shares with his mother and his younger sister. Hypertrichosis is dominant and is caused by a mutation in a gene on the X chromosome. If Mara and Louisa have eight children, three boys and five girls, which of the children will have the disease explained. And as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. Actually, this is very easy problem. Uh, as you see, according to our problem, uh, only Mario has this genetic condition, and we know that this genetic condition is uh, uh, caused by a defective gene on the X chromosome. So uh, let me use red color to designate defective X chromosome. So uh, genotype of the Mara would be defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. And uh, genotype of the Louisa would be normal X chromosome and normal another X chromosome. And when we build a Punnett square, we can predict outcome of such a cross. So, as you see, here we would have normal X chromosome from the mother side and defective X chromosome from the father side, from the Maria side normal X chromosome here from the Louisa side and normal Y chromosome from the Mario side. Um, normal X chromosome from the Louisa side here and defective X chromosome from the Mario side and normal X chromosome here and normal Y chromosome from the Mario side. And as you see, according to this Punnett square, 100% of the boys in such a family would be phenotypically and genotypically normal and 100% of the girls would be affected with this genetic disorder because those they have a normal X chromosome this is dominant genetic disorder and 100% of the girls would have this genetic disorder so our answer would be if this family would have three boys, all of them would be phenotypically and genotypically normal. And uh, if they would have five girls, those they would be heterozygous, all of them would be phenotypically affected with this genetic disorder. And what is interesting that, uh, for example, in the following generation, these girls who is affected if they would marry phenotypically, genotypically normal male, uh, outcome of such a cross would be different from what we see here. For example, uh, if we take any of these girls, so they would be heterozygous for this trait and would be uh, normal X chromosome and defective X chromosome and if they would marry phenotypically and genotypically normal male you would see different picture. This is not a part of our solution. I already gave an answer to our question but I want you to uh, understand this problem uh, better. So. Uh, here we would have normal X chromosome for inherited from the mother side and normal X chromosome inherited from the father side, normal X chromosome inherited from the mother side and normal Y chromosome inherited from the father side, defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side and normal X chromosome inherited from the father side and defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side and normal Y chromosome inherited from the father side. So this time as you see 50% of the children 
also would be unaffected and 50% of the children would be affected with this genetic disorder but if here all the girls were affected and all the boys were unaffected here in such a cross we see that 50% of the girls would be genotypically normal and would be unaffected the same 50% of the boys would be unaffected and 50% uh, of the girls and boys would be affected with this genetic disorder. So now I hope you would have better understanding how X-linked dominant genetic disorders are inherited. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.